Hello everyone, it's Ali and in this tutorial I'll go through a 3ds Max script called Stone Placement Tools. So this script creates stone walls, quad stone pavements and irregular stone patterns for various uses. So I'll just show you guys where to get it from. You head over to script spot where we get most of our scripts and locate stone placement tools and head down and download it, the zip file and after you've downloaded it and extracted it uh, head over to scripting um, run the script after you've located your file here click on that and you'll get the user interface popping up so now we'll start by creating a quick stone wall so just the sizing to what you like, doesn't really matter. Uh, add some spacing. Don't want it to shift too much. Keep the iteration to four, and that could stay the same. So after we do that, we create the grid, it creates a grid, grid for us. We can adjust the parameters from here and keep creating. It randomizes the stone creation or the grid and then after we're done we press on create stone and it adds all the modifiers to it takes a bit of a while depending on, um, depending on your parameters and it creates this as you can see quite a decent texture that really depends on the iteration count you have try not to go too hard on the iterations though take it one by one so it sort of looks like a 5, I can add spacing to it between the blocks, you can see, you can adjust the spacing quite easily, ooh, too much that's what happens when you put it too much so yeah, you can adjust the spacing it does have a few glitches, but it does an adequate job so after we're done with that we will head over and create a pavements so it creates a plane for you again based on your parameters and you can keep adjusting the grid to what you like and you create the stones again or well yep we'll create stones for now just to get the idea takes a bit of a while but almost there yep as you can see, creates it for you quite easily. You can rotate them. The stones rotate as they go. So you're pretty much distorting the pavement to get that, you know, irregular pavement. Just like that. Um, can justice as well and the strength to what you like and yeah this is how you create the quad pavements you can also move the individual stones and clone them quite comfortably so it really is this stone generator for you it's pretty good and after you're done with that you can head over and Great irregular stone patterns so you can build a base just like that and select stones whichever one you like and you can create the stone just like that go back on that let's add More, create the stone, and it. Oh, it's taken a while. What's this? Yeah, so you've got to be careful of the iterations and the number of iterations you have here to avoid, you know, the long rendering times and possible crashes. Yeah, so after it's loaded. As you can see, got the stones 
simulated. Quite clean, not too bad. So yeah, this is how this nice script works. So you create a bunch of stones, either as walls, pavements, or irregular patterns like this, and hopefully aid your projects aesthetically, or you know, add a bit of that environmental touch to your projects. So I hope this is useful for you guys and thank you for watching.